Uh, hello? Well, there it ain't. I see you're in quite a pickle right now. Well, who, who the fuck is this? Don't be afraid. I'm a friend. Uh, well, that that's fucking odd. Because I don't even recognize your voice. Fine. My name is Kevin. Wait a second. Kevin. You, you mean Kevin McNeil? Yes, that'd be me. Oh my god. I have like a million and one questions to ask you right now, but first, how the hell do you know my name? You were Josh's friend. I saw your videos on your YouTube channel. Besides, Josh has told me about you. Oh, well, where the fuck have you been, Matt? Seriously! Look, I'll answer all your questions in time, okay? But that's not why I call you. I called you... How did you even get my number? Let me talk. Answer my questions first or else I am hanging up! Fine. Where have you been? Away from home. I can't tell you exactly where. I barely even know you. Okay, then. Well, if you saw my videos, you know who Ethan is, right? Ethan, Ethan McAstro? Yeah. Actually, Ethan and I are good friends. Wait, wait, seriously? Okay, did you ever happen to notice any strange or suspicious activity coming from him at all? Mm, well, uh, it's been two years, so it's pretty fuzzy, but I kind of do remember some bits and pieces. He had me help him edit some videos. I even appeared a couple of them. Okay, did you ever notice, like, anything, anything weird about any of the clips you helped him edit? Like, I don't know, distortion that shouldn't be there, or just anything like that at all? say he was like as a friend he was a pretty decent friend well at first at first yeah after a while it seemed like it just got to the point that where he'd be yelling at me more than he'd be doing complimentary of the vlogs even with, with small things like i made a mistake with editing one for me vlogs wow His camera, you mean, you mean other than the one with the tripod and everything that he was using to vlog? Oh yeah, he had a hat, he held that he was carrying with him all over the place. For sleepovers, I even, even found out that he filmed himself even while asleep. Holy shit, well, what about any people he happened to run into? I've tried to run, I've tried to hide, you can't escape from him. It doesn't matter where you 
Fine, he'll still find you eventually. Well, oh my god, well, how can I even deal with him then? How can I get him to leave me alone? You can't, Nate. Haven't you fucking realized that by now? Nothing can stop that thing. Nothing. Even hurt them. 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 Even hurt I kind of figured that out. There was a drawing I found that mentioned that, I think. Well, before you go there, there's also a big culvert next to your house. You need to go there first. There's something there that will help you find what you need to find your grandparents' bond. Well, what? I'm afraid that's all I can say. That thing is definitely watching me right now. If I tell you, if I tell you what the stuff at the culvert did at the farm is before you find them, you'll probably fucking kill me. Sorry. Well, I mean, at least, at least I know where I have to go. Thanks a lot, man. It's not a problem. Now I have to go because I have some other business to attend to. So, you, you should be able to have my number saved on your phone. If you need to, don't be afraid to give me a call. Again, sometime. Okay. Wait, wait, you still haven't told me. Told you what? Oh my god, how the fuck did you get my number, Kevin? Josh never told you the number, I never did, no one ever told you it at all. How the fuck did you get it? Kevin? Kevin? Hello? Uh, uh, god damn it! Well... Ah. So he just hangs up. Jerk. Shit, where did my phone land?